Good morning and welcome to your daily operations weather briefing. Well, we've had an increase in cloudiness over the course of the last hour or so. We're going to continue to see mostly cloudy skies throughout the day today uh, with just a slight chance of a uh, sprinkle or two passing off to our south as you see here on radar. You can see some of the late rain activity uh, passing over southern Virginia. I don't think that's going to make it into our region this afternoon, uh, but we will see a pretty close call on some of these showers as they make their way through the area. Again, these showers are pretty light, with just some light rain and drizzle being reported uh, across southern Virginia this morning. Looking at our current surface analysis, we've got high pressure to the north and this wave of low pressure that is moving um, throughout the uh, southern portions of Virginia. Uh, this morning, a very weak area of low pressure bringing those showers and we're going to continue to see those showers passing off to our south over the course of the next few hours. Looking at our current weather condition right now, we've got a broken deck of clouds at around 16,000 feet with unrestricted visibilities, northeasterly winds at 11 knots and a temperature pretty cool this morning at 34 degrees, relative humidity coming in at 64%. The next 24 hours we can expect uh, mostly cloudy and cool conditions to continue uh, through the day today with those northeasterly breezes. Uh, pretty breezy at times uh, with those gusts in the mid to upper teens but uh, should stay under that wind advisory criteria of 25 knots and not see uh, one of those posted today. But it will be slightly breezy as we go into the uh, late morning and afternoon hours with those northeasterly winds and those cool temperatures combining to make it feel pretty chilly out there today. Looking into the evening hours, we'll continue with mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures won't really fall all that much tonight as we'll see those clouds keeping it, uh, keeping those temperatures from falling too quickly overnight tonight. We'll see mostly cloudy skies continuing into the evening and overnight hours. And then I think we'll see uh, maybe our best chance of precipitation over the course of the next 24 hours occurring late in the evening into the uh, wee hours of the morning just after midnight could see a light shower uh, moving through the area but looking at only about a 10 percent chance of that occurring so not even making our chart with any color uh, in the yellow category here with the uh, percentages running from 16 to 40 it looks like it will be under that category for uh, rain chances as we go into the overnight hours by tomorrow morning expecting mostly cloudy to overcast conditions to continue temperatures holding in the mid to upper 30s as we hit the 8 a.m. hour. Looking at our forecast for Wednesday, looks like milder weather will return uh, to the area once again on Wednesday with a daytime high of 54 degrees. And then we'll see a better chance of rain as we go into the Wednesday night, Thursday morning time frame. We'll see a uh, weak area of low pressure bringing the chance of some rain shower activity during the Wednesday night, early morning hours Thursday and then another chance of some shower activity late in the day on Thursday most likely holding off into the evening hours uh, with that chance of rain and as you can see some very warm weather in store for us by the end of the week with a daytime high of 67 degrees expected for Thursday. That'll wrap it up for today's weather briefing. We'll be back again at 10 a.m. for a look at your extended forecast. Have a nice morning.